I'm Captain Johnny Walker. Uh, it's J-O-N-N-I-E-W-A-L-K-E-R. I live here in Sarasota. I'm a fishing guide. I've been fishing for 30-something, 30 37 years now as a guide. I've been here fishing since I first moved here when I was 10. My grandparents had vacationed here for years, and my parents had vacationed for a couple of years here. And in 1956, they sold their business in Long Island and decided to move to Sarasota. And the first place we moved to when we moved to Sarasota was Philippi Shores Trailer Park, which was a, a little trailer park right on Philippi Creek. So we moved right on the water. And I think the first or second day I was here, I was fishing. And I was fishing off the dock at the, at the trailer park and catching snook and trout and ladyfish and just all different kinds of fish. I mean, as soon as we moved here, the bug had bit me. And I've been doing it ever since. Uh, in those days, you could camp out on the water, and we would go down to El Jabin or to Englewood and camp on the beach. You know, with our tent, you could, it was allowed to do it those days. We used to do it on the south end of Longboat Key. In the north end of Longboat Key, there's a place called Beer Cane Island, and we used to go there all the time and camp out. We had an old station wagon that was full of sand and nets and rods and reels and buckets and just all the stuff you need when you're camping. It was, it was a great time in those days. There wasn't a lot of private property. There was no private beaches. If you could get to a beach, you could go anywhere on it. It was, it was uh, very wide open and a lot of good fishing, a lot of good fishing. I mean, it was really a lot of fun in those days. I mean, it's gotten where you can't do that now. You've got to pay to fish nowadays. I mean, you either pay for the property that you're sitting on to be able to enjoy it, or you've got to go out with somebody to do it. It, it's not as easy as it used to be, but uh, it was so much fun as a kid, and all through junior high and high school, I hung out with a lot of guys that fished and hunted, and, and we, that's what we did. You know, we fished in the creeks. We frogged in the ditches. After the summer rains, we'd, we'd walk up and down the ditches with little frog gigs and gig frogs. We would spear turtles and eat them. Uh, I was raised that if you kill something, you eat it, you know, and it was all right to kill something as long as you were going to put it to use and, and eat it, and we did. I worked out of New Pass Bait Shop for many years, probably 25 years or more, uh, worked out of there, and uh, it was really a neat uh, place. It was old Florida, the old shack on the bridge, everybody called it the bridge shack, had the best hamburgers in town. And down below, there was a little bait shop that was owned by uh, Carl Sadler. And my dad and he, when my dad first moved to Sarasota, uh, worked together uh, shrimping. In those days, I think he could get three dozen shrimp for a dollar, is what it was. Now it's about three dollars for a dozen shrimp. But uh, that was neat. I used to go out with my dad <coughs> as a, you know, 10, 11 years old going out on that shrimp boat, and you shrimp at night, and it's nasty, mosquitoes, uh, fish all over the place, and getting jabbed and stuck and prodded by every kind of fish there is in the water, because you have to keep these shrimp alive, and you have to separate them from everything else. So you have this board that you, you dump them up on, and you short the shrimp out and dump them down a hole into the water, and the rest of the stuff you dump overboard. But his hands would be all infected, and uh, full of scars and stuff all the time. But I uh, used to go with him and do that. But when I first moved here in, in 1956 in Philippi Shores Trailer Park, uh, there hadn't been that much dredging and developing going on. It just had started. Uh, by the 60s, it was going full bore. There was dredging the intercoastal waterway. There was dredging on Longboat Key to create... Uh, uh, Country Club Shores. There was dredging on Bird Key to create Bird Key. There was dredging everywhere. So there was all this dredging going on, which really devastated the bay because all this silt and sand and mud that they dredged up, there was no controls in those days. And they just pumped dirt wherever they wanted to, created islands wherever they wanted to. Um, all these fine sediments just drifted all around the bay, and they'd wiped out the grass flats where there had been acres and acres of grass flats, there was none. 
Uh, the development started building seawalls. You know, people didn't want mangroves in front of their houses. They wanted nice seawalls so they could get a view. So they cut down mangroves, and which are part of the filtration system also. So all of this really, really hurt the bay. When I started guiding, it was great fishing. But as those grass slides died off and those mangrove situation got worse, there was less and less fish. I mean, it was harder to catch fish. In the 80s and 90s, it was very difficult. Um, the city of Sarasota had uh, a sewer system that was not working properly, and they would pump sewage into Sarasota Bay every day, millions of gallons of partially treated sewage that was not uh, treated good enough. And it was full of phosphates and phosphorus, which triggered algae blooms, which clouded up the bay even more, which still wouldn't let the grass grow. Not until the late 90s did things start to clear up, and then in the, into the thousands, it's really gotten better. We have more grass now than we probably had during the 70s. Um, they've come back. We're lucky that we live in a town where people enjoy the environment and are educated enough to realize that um, what they do hurts the environment. I say all the time, you know, you, you teach a kid how to fish, and they'll take you someday. But it's more than that. It's teaching a kid to enjoy the environment um, and realize that what we do affects in the future and that my grandkids and my great-grandkids will be able to fish in this bay and have as much fun as I have had living here. I'm 63 years old. I hope I can do it for at least another 10 years. I'd love to be able to just keep on fishing. I just, I enjoy it. I love getting up in the morning. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I go out to the bay. I watch the sun come up, watch the moon go down, uh, catch my bait in the morning. I can still throw a cast net. Um, I can still fish two charters a day. I'm, I, I ran two charters a day, and I'm, I am beat. But I, I love being tired. <laughs> it's 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 good to be out on the water all day uh enjoying the sunshine and and having a good time